dear students welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about medial side of the thigh and uh, we are now we are going to discuss about um, one important nerve related to the medial side of the thigh that is obturator nerve so in the previous session we have seen the muscles which are present on the medial aspect all the muscles are supplied by the obturator nerve only and only some of the two muscles are supplied uh, uh, with uh, uh, femoral nerve okay and also uh, some sciatic nerve for the other two muscles okay the femoral nerve supplies to pectineus and the sciatic nerve supplies to the adductor magnus muscle so these two muscles are also supplied by the obturator nerve so all the medial side thigh muscles are supplied by obturator nerve now we will see the course of this obturator nerve okay so we have studied uh, the lumbar flexors already now this nerve is formed by the union of roots of roots arising from l2 l3 l4 okay so the root value is l2 l3 and l4 so to, for uh, this is the root value of this obturator nerve and also an accessory obturator nerve also we can see so normally it arises from l3 and l4 this one is accessory obturator nerve so first uh, we are going to discuss about this actual obturator nerve the accessory obturator nerve normally it is not present in many of the people uh, it can be seen only in 30% of the people okay so so the main nerve is obturator nerve so the root value for this is l2 l3 and l4 okay yes so for our convenience uh, to study this obturator nerve we are going to divide this um, obturator nerve into three parts first part second part and third part okay so this is the first part the first part runs downwards in the substance of the psoas major so the first nerve, first part of the nerve runs down in the substance of the psoas major it emerges at the medial border of the psoas major passing lateral to the internal iliac vessels and then it enters into the pelvic cavity so this is the pelvic cavity so it enters into the pelvic cavity up to the uh, entry of the pelvic cavity from the roots it is called as first part of the obturator nerve the second part of the nerve lies lateral to the true pelvis here you can see this is the true pelvis you can see this uh, obturator nerve which is present lateral to the true pelvis true pelvis means that um, uh, inner part of the pelvis you can find here okay so it runs downwards and forwards lying over the obturator internus this is the obturator internus muscle so in the um, in relation with this obturator internus it runs downwards and forwards lying over the obturator internus muscle now this part of the nerve is crossed by the internal iliac artery and the vein so so this is the common carotid artery so this one external iliac and internal iliac so this nerve is crossing the uh, internal iliac artery and then the vein okay and it is accompanied with so this obturator nerve in the true pelvis is accompanied with uh, obturator vessels so 
which lie below and behind it so these vessels will lie below and behind the obturator nerve so this is the course of the second part of the obturator nerve now it leaves the lateral wall of the pelvis by passing through the uh, upper part of the obturator foramen to enter the thigh so actually this upper part of the obturator foramen is normally called it as obturator canal so from um, from the obturator canal it enters into the uh, thigh okay from there the third part of the um, obturator nerve will start so i want to mention about the obturator canal here it is a passage way formed in the obturator foramen okay by a part of the obturator membrane as we know that this is uh, for example in the hip bone we have seen this obturator foramen so this foramen is covered by the obturator membrane so some part is um, open at the um, anterior aspect here so that opening uh, is called as obturator uh, canal through which this obturator nerve uh, along with obturator vessels will pass through this uh, foramen and enter into the thigh region okay so th this is about uh, the obturator canal actually this obturator canal connects the pelvis to the thigh okay and the contents of this canal is obturator nerve artery and obturator vein okay now this is uh, a small information about the obturator canal here so now this the second part now it is uh, ended here the third part of the nerve after entering into the thigh as it passes through the obturator foramen through obturator canal it divides into anterior and posterior divisions so this is the foramen through which this um, obturator nerve enters into the thigh here it divides into anterior and posterior divisions so this one is anterior side and here it is posterior okay you can find this anterior division and posterior division where at the starting point it is divided into anterior and posterior divisions okay now we will see the anterior division first the anterior division lies in front of the obturator externus above so here this is the obturator externus muscle at above this anterior division lies and anterior to the or in front of the obturator externus above and below adductor brevis in front of the adductor brevis below okay and it lies behind the pectineus muscle above and adductor longus below that means this anterior division is located okay anterior or in front of the obturator externus and adductor brevis okay and if you related to the most medial muscles that is so this anterior part of the obturator nerve lies behind the pectineus above and adductor longus below okay so normally the arrangement of muscles if you can see on the medial aspect so pectineus we can see and then adductor longus behind this adductor longus we can find adductor uh, brevis and behind this adductor brevis we can find adductor magnus okay and if you see the in the uppermost part behind the 
15 years you can find obturator externus muscle okay inside the true pelvis we can find the obturator internus so we are not worried about obturator internus because it has come outside of the obturator uh, foramen and enters into the thigh uh, once it enters into the thigh it relates to these muscles only one is pectineus adductor longus adductor brevis adductor magnus and obturator externus so obturator externus is um, present almost at the upper part so which is related to the pelvis so the muscles which are nearer to the pelvis are this obturator externus and pectineus so this uh, division is related above with pectineus and obturator externus okay now we will see the posterior division the posterior division lies in front of the obturator externus again so it lies in front of the obturator externus above and below adductor magnus and below it it lies in front of the adductor magnus okay yes so this posterior division above it relates to the obturator externus okay it relates to obturator externus and below it, it is present in front of the adductor magnus okay and then it lies behind pectineus above and behind the adductor brevis okay so these are the cores of this um, anterior division as well as the posterior division so now now we will we will see the uh, supply of this anterior division and posterior divisions so the muscular branches which are arising from the anterior division or it supplies obturator externus okay obturator externus pectineus gracilis adductor longus sometimes adductor brevis sometimes adductor brevis the anterior division and if you see the posterior division it supplies to the obturator externus adductor magnus and adductor brevis only three muscular branches arises from the posterior division okay and four muscular branches arising from the anterior division and sometimes it may supply to the adductor brevis remaining time it supplies to the pectineus abductor uh, uh, sorry obturator externus adductor longus gracilis okay now if you see the cutaneous branches of this uh, obturator nerve after supplying the muscles uh uh by the anterior division supplies the skin of the lower medial part of the thigh these fibers may reach the skin through the branch that joins the medial cutaneous and saphenous branches of the femoral nerve to form subsartorial flexus that means uh this one gives cutaneous branches to the medial side of the thigh these branches are going to unite with this subsartorial flexus okay this is the cutaneous branch of the obturator nerve if you see the articular branches these branches um, give branches to the hip joint as well as the knee joint okay so the knee joint uh, is supplied by the posterior division if you see the vascular branches only the anterior division giving vascular branches um so here this is the vascular branches supplying the femoral artery so these are the uh origin and uh, 
supply of the obturator nerve and also we have seen the cords here and now we will move on to the accessory obturator nerve so occasionally some fibers of the obturator nerve follow a separate course and are termed as accessory obturator nerve which is arising from L2 and L3 this nerve runs downwards along the medial margin of the psoas major so here this one this is the accessory obturator nerve but this will not uh, enter into the pelvis but passes behind the inguinal ligament okay and it reaches to the thigh so once it reaches to the thigh this obturator accessory obturator nerve so which is uh, comes below behind the inguinal ligament here the nerve supplying to pectineus muscle so the nerve is supplying to pectineus muscle as well as a branch to the hip joint a branch to the hip joint and later it communicates with the anterior division of the obturator nerve finally so this is the course of this accessory obturator nerve and its supply in the next session we are going to discuss about another region called gluteal region thank you